Hello there guys, and today we have the last ever episode of our View 13 career mode with Spurs. Well, it will be the last time I'm going to be able to say that um, with Spurs at the end of uh, my little intro thing there. So, um, this last game here, this episode, can we tell it is quite short. I think it's about half the normal size of a video. But um, in this video, I only have the game um, of the last game of the Champions Cup League, you know, you know what I mean. And we were against Barcelona, so I only decided to add this in because I thought, well, instead of adding like loads and loads of stuff in, you know, I'd rather keep it really short and then get on to new, the new team um, tomorrow instead of having another episode, uh, another episode tomorrow. I'd rather just have it, you know, just the last episode because everything else was just like games in the BPL, which unfortunately we didn't win. I think we came like third or fourth, unless you can check then, unless it does come up in the video, I think we came third or fourth um, in that unfortunately, so we didn't win that, but um, like I say, we're the Champions Cup here against Barcelona, so I do showcase this, and then after that I will showcase um, what overall the players got to, and you know, you'll see how good the season has gone, so um, just a little background story, this career mode started, um, well we've done three seasons now, and ever since I've done this career mode I've been gaining a lot of subscribers, a lot of... Um, a lot of likes on the series, like I say, um, before I did this um, career mode, I was probably on about, let's just say about, I know I was under 3,000 subscribers anyway, I was on under 3,000 and now I'm on 3,500, so that's over 500 subscribers I've gained just from this one career mode, which is absolutely amazing, but that's all down to you guys for liking the videos, commenting on them, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't, you know, obviously be doing this or even doing this series, because if you didn't enjoy it, obviously I'd probably do a different team at the time, but... Like I say, you enjoyed Spurs and you enjoyed all the signings I made. Well, made, sorry. And then a lot of you guys left some comments on place to sign. So I signed them as well. And obviously that will continue in the next series as well. Like you guys be able to leave some comments on players you to sign. Who you reckon will fit the team. So anyway guys, I've got a list here which is a list of players that I reckon um, I've enjoyed the most from playing with this team. And just a little heads up here, um, if you see Gabbiadini and Aguero there. There's two players that I signed in January, which, which I didn't show unfortunately, but I did sign them to... And um, they're really good strikers. I recommend going out and picking them up if you can. So anyway, um, I picked a couple of players out. I picked six players. And so number one was Corker, our centre-back. He was an amazing centre-back for me. He had good pace, good strength, and always got a job done. On an occasion and times, he always got us a header when we most needed it from the corner. Um, Cute, I think call him. Um, he was a new centre back we signed and he had 85 pace and you'll see his stats near the end, he's got some amazing stats for a centre back so if you can guys I'd definitely go sign him and uh, if you don't know who I'm on about to skip a couple of episodes back um, you'll be able to see him who have signed, he's a centre back um, left back we have Jordi Alba, who Jordi Alba he's a really good left back because he pushes up the midfield uh, on the left side obviously because he plays left back and then uh, like I say here you go here he's pushing up and um, crosses it in to Balotelli to get his header, so I would definitely try and sign him. Um, the next three players were Soko, Gabbiadini and Aguero, which obviously are Gabbiadini and Aguero. I signed without them, uh, without showing you guys, so um, they're three really good players, so they're the players that I liked the most out of this series. So, anyway guys, we come to the last goal here. Um, this game was really, you know, I was really wanting to win this, because I wanted to win some silverware this season. And to finish it off, Balotelli was an amazing strike. I couldn't get over that goal at a time when he scored that, which was just it was just outstanding. So, anyway, guys, we won that 4-2, which was absolutely amazing, outstanding. And um, Balotelli there with the uh, last-minute goal, and, it, and here we have the celebration. And also, by the way, guys, the music will be in the description if you want to go um, uh, watch it and support the artist and whatever. Um, by all means, do. And uh, yeah, we won that, which is really good because out of the three seasons we played, we won the BPL, we won the champion, not champions, uh, the Capital One Cup, and we unfortunately we won the FA Cup, but uh, we won the Champions Cup, which was really good. And um, if I was to play the season out, I would have had 31 and a half million to spend, which in previous seasons we've had more to spend. We had, I think, we had 40 at one point, which I think that was second season in, which wasn't too bad. And here I just go over the prices of players like Loris, 33 and a half million. Uh, Ronaldo's gone down by like 2.5. Now a lot of players have gone up in price by loads. Uh, you can pause the video by all means and check. Um, Oxford Jones is now an 86 overall at the age of 21, which is absolutely outstanding if you think. And so, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end um, the commentary here, so you guys can continue watching. Uh, there's a little ending bit in a minute. You'll see now, um, just to finish off the whole series. So anyway, guys, the new series will be out tomorrow for well, the new team so by all means uh, go watch that tomorrow and i will see you all 
tomorrow guys so thank you all for the support on the series and i thank you once again goodbye